Hello there! Today we are going to show you how to Mod Podge a puzzle after you've already completed it. The reason we want to do that is so we can transport it, um, hang it up on the wall, whatever we decide to do with it. We have a thousand piece Montana puzzle that his aunt actually got for us when they came to visit us in Montana. And I thought that was a really nice gift idea. So if you need a gift idea when you're visiting somebody, a hostess gift or something like that, I love it. You know, get a map, a puzzle of a map of where they live, maybe one of their favorite vacation destinations, whatever it may be. So the first thing that we're going to do is, since we did the puzzle right here on this coffee table, we need to transport it carefully. And what I did is I got one of these big presentation display boards. Is you want to unwrap that? Yeah. He's going to unwrap that. You don't have to go out and buy some fancy thing like that. You just need a harder surface to be able to transport the puzzle because what we're going to do is take this outside and mod podge it out there so we don't get any on the table. But what I'm going to do is grab some wax paper and I'm going to lay that down on top of the white poster board and then the puzzle. So our board is bigger than the puzzle which is fantastic. So I want enough wax paper to cover the puzzle. Now this is not as wide, so I'm going to be doing two separate sheets. Okay, there's one sheet. All right, now that we have our wax paper planned out, we're going to put the wax paper on top of the board. I have seen and heard of people using old shower curtains and things like that. You just want a surface that you can easily peel from the puzzle after it has been glued. All right, so next comes the tricky part, all right? We want to slide our puzzle on top of this wax paper. Oh, man. Okay? So, if we can, I'm gonna hold it even with the table. It's not gonna be so hard. And I'm gonna have you gently slide it on here. Good. Careful. Yeah, gently slide. Good. 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 This is easier than driving a wheel. <laughs> Okay, so we have the puzzle transported outside, and what we're going to use is this Mod Podge. It's just the original. There is something called like puzzle glue, but I've seen a lot of people just use this. And then we picked up a pack of paintbrushes from Family Dollar. Just really cheap brushes that we'll probably never use again. I don't know, we may use them for some craft projects and such, but nothing fancy. I like this package because it comes with a foam brush. Oh. And it also comes with two different kinds of brushes. Bob Ross brushes. Bob Ross brushes. Just dab out of it. <laughs> so that way the kids can help. We have multiple. That way, if we find that this brush actually leaves streaks, we can go to the foam one. Okay. So I'm gonna use the foam brush, I think. Okay. Okay. And I'll, I'll use this one. All right. Now I'm. We're gonna start at the top, and we're gonna do clear, clean strokes. From one side to the other. And here we go. You'll want to kind of thin so it doesn't leave any kind of residue or anything. But what this is going to do, it's going to go down in the seams and dry and make the puzzle pieces Even though stay it looks together. Like so my opinion is I think I already like the foam brush better. It may not make a difference, but I feel like it goes on really smooth with it. Some people have also said they use an old credit card at the end and they remove the excess that's sitting on top and that's pretty genius. I don't have an old credit card, so. We do. You guys do? Yeah, we have it expired. All right, well, we may just have to go do that if you want to go grab it. So we also need to make sure we get the edges really good because that's going to hold it together like this. even more. So we may go through and put another coat. Like this one? Uh-huh. We may go through and put another coat all on the edges. So something else I learned recently is that there are some companies out there that will turn your photos into puzzles. And one of those companies is Shutterfly. I'm a big fan of Shutterfly. And if you create a new account, they usually have some great perks that they'll give you, like free photos and things like that. So I'll put a link in the description below in case you want to check that out. And I don't know if this is necessary, but if you do have an old expired card, it may be worth a shot. So you just kind of take it. Is it working? 
I think so. Ooh. Yeah, it has some excess that you Ooh. scrape off. It's working. All right. So we're going to let that dry and see how that does to see if we need a second coat. And then if it did great, we're gonna flip it over and do the back just as an extra that's, security measure. That's gonna be All right, so we have let it sit for about an hour. I don't think it needed that much time, but we got busy doing something else. So what I'm gonna do now is just carefully lift up on the edges like this one you can see needs a little touch up. Maybe gently lift up in the middle, see if any of it's loose. There's a loose piece. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little touch up in the areas where it feels a little shaky. If you wanna do a second coat over the whole thing, it's not a bad idea. If you have the time and the Mod Podge to do it, why not? So I think that's what we're gonna do. How's that sound? Again, I don't think it's necessary. You can go ahead after the first coat, especially if you put more on it than we did, and flip it over and do the back. But we don't have anywhere to be. We have plenty of time, we have plenty of Mod Podge. So I think for safety's sake, we're gonna go ahead and just do another full coat. The good thing about this one is it doesn't have to be as, oh, accurate, I guess, as the first time. All right, there's our second coat. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit and come back and check on it and flip it. All right, I believe our second coat is probably dry, but just in case, we're gonna be really gentle. Yep, looks pretty good. Yeah. What we're gonna do is carefully, also carefully turn this over. Just like that. Whoa. And we're going to do the back side now. We'll probably just do one coat on this side and then it'll be good to go. All right, so the back is dry with our coat of Mod Podge and it's time to flip it over. And I think it should be done and complete and ready. You still wanna be gentle with it because just like with anything, it could fall apart easy if you wanted it to. But I think that's it. I think we're good to go. It's secure, it's glued, it's all in place. We do have a little bit of excess over here, but we can pick that off and it's clear. It's my favorite part. And it's perfect. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.